everybody. So, um, I have just finished basically my upgrade process. You like my shirt? It's from, uh, it's an old company I used to work at. They're not even a company anymore. Um, I'm going to get out the uh, paperwork because I said I would tell you guys about it. Like I did with the orientation. So, um, the upgrade process for Prime Inc. Um, it's kind of... You don't really see a lot of information out there about it. Um, so I'll just kind of tell you how it goes. Now, I can only speak for um, Springfield. I don't know what it's like in Pittston and Salt Lake. So I'm, I'm assuming it's the same. I'm assuming it's probably the same across the board. It's different if you're a company driver. Um, this is basically what you do, but there's some classes that you don't take um, if you're a company driver. Uh, for instance, a slingshot business class, you obviously wouldn't take that as a company driver. Uh, the pro maintenance class you're going to take, uh, but we'll, we'll get into all of it. Um, so you guys can kind of understand. So once you get here for your upgrade process, your fleet manager will route you in um, with your trainer. Uh, I'm assuming you're with your trainer. Now, in my case, it's a little bit different. I, you, as you guys know, I did that truck recovery on that old Peterbilt. Um, so I brought that in. Um, but either way, my trainer ended up being here. He ended up taking a load and coming back. So he's actually here now. Um, he's parked out there. Uh, but I think he's at Fire and Ice hanging out, so uh, whatever. He's he's here till like Friday or something. He's got to do a class for his next training. Um, so once you get here, your your classes will start um, at eight o'clock. So the the first class you're going to take is your it's called the Prime Safety Certified class in the Sim Lab, um, which is basically the computer game, right? The simulator. Um, so you'll go there, um, you'll watch a couple of videos, um, and then he'll give you a break, um, and then you'll do. Um, you'll jump on the you'll jump on the simulators now our, my class was kind of big um i think we had like, like 20 people um most of them were upgrades so it was insane um but um so you'll get on there and you'll do a couple of uh simulations so they're all different you don't know what you're going to get they're all random so you don't know which one you'll get uh some people got one that you did when you were in orientation where you just kind of drive and get off the exit and you park and then the snow one where like you lose traction or whatever um that's the one i got so i got lucky on that <laughs> um some people got one where like uh, people were pulling out in front of them and shit and uh it, it was insane uh, i will say that some of the stuff that i saw i was really surprised some of those people were upgrading because I, what i was watching they were hitting things like driving like five miles an hour with the hazards on like it was insanity i i can't imagine they think that that was okay um in a real world scenario um so anyways, uh, that's what you'll do. You do that. And then after you're done with those little uh, simulations, I think you get another break, I think. Um, but uh, I guess it depends on if you need another break. Anyways, um, everyone has to do an alley dock sim. It's an alley dock sim. He shows you how to do it. Um, it's fairly simple, but it's pr pretty easy. Um, but uh, you'll do an alley dock sim. Um, once you get it back there for whatever, you pull the brakes, you're done. Your class is done. Bam. That's it. Uh, once you get it, you have 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to get it into the dock um and it's really 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 easy so don't don't freak out about it uh but once you get it into the dock you'll hear like a noise like a like a loud thump and then you just pull the brakes turn the truck off bam done and he'll tell you you're good to go or you need to redo it um if you get it in with no issues um you'll you'll just be done so he'll say you, you can go do the rest of your classes whatever they might be you're also going to have cbt's uh computer-based training so i can't remember how many i had it was like 60 something um, but some of them are repetitive, uh, and then some of them are, are newer ones that they're, they're at random. So some people had some CBTs that other people didn't. And supposedly that was to keep the, to give you different scenarios or something, which didn't really make any sense because some of them were like, I had ACE one and ACE two on mine. Um, and, uh, I haven't even taken ACE two. I won't take ACE two for another two months probably. Um, so why I had ACE two didn't really make any sense, but I guess they were just random. Um, so that was your, that's, oh, and that's your upgrade skills test. So that's 1130 to 12. So you're in the sim lab for quite a while. Um, so you're basically there from uh, eight o'clock in the morning until about noon, 1230, something like that. You get a lunch break after that, if you have time to do it, depending on how long the class runs over. Um, and then you'll take the shuttle to the plaza building. Now, again, this is all in Springfield. I can't tell you how you do it there. Um, maybe you'll be at the same building, I'm sure. Um, but you'll shuttle to the plaza building and then you'll do a logs class. Holy shit. They call it, now they call it hours of service training. It's a logs class. They basically go over the, uh, um, 
they go over like you're the Qualcomm and off duty and sleeper berth and all that stuff, you know, and PC and, you know, uh, so if you did it during orientation, you're going to do it again when you do upgrade, whether your company or lease, everyone does it. Um, so you do that for, I think it's two hours. Uh, it runs a little longer because, you know, there's lots of people that ask a lot of questions. There's a lot of details. Uh, and then uh, if you're a company driver, um, you, you won't do taxes. And the next class after that, when you're done, you'll stay in the same room. Um, and it's called taxes and business creation. So Abacus comes in, um, they talk about taxes and LLC and all that stuff. So if you're a company driver, you won't do that. You won't do that class. I mean, I guess if you want, you can, um, you know, I guess if you want, it's good information. I mean, it's not the greatest in the world, but it's pretty quick. He, he, he took no time at all. Uh, I think it was a 45 minute class. It wasn't, wasn't long at all. Um, and that pretty much is the end of day one. Um, so that's basically what you can expect day one. Um, day two, um, if you're a reefer company driver, you can skip the slingshot uh, class and you just go to the pro maintenance class and that one starts at one, but we'll, we'll get into that. Um, so if you're going lease, uh, you do the slingshot business class. That is in the Z building in training room A. That's a bitch to find if you don't know where it's at. You gotta, gotta go like downstairs. You walk in the building, you go downstairs um, and then like it's at the bottom and you, you, all you see is like a room, like doors that have a big A above it and like a big B above it. And, uh, but it's in the A room. That's the one you go to. Now it could change, but that's where mine was at. Uh, now the Slingshot business class, or I guess they call it Ace One, uh, very, very good class. That I, I, I was like, man, that was such a good class. Like such good information. Like uh, the lady Trish breaks down a lot of things, makes it extremely easy to understand um great class i actually love that class uh and then so that one goes for about uh i think it's like three hours it's, it's kind of a long class um and you do that eight in the morning so eight in the morning to about 11. um and then you'll go on lunch break now it's not in the schedule that you go on lunch break but it, you after so after that class they did have a high valve class which was 30 minutes long i didn't do that one um i should have but um not a big deal um but yeah, if you want to, she'll, she'll tell you. If you want to do it, you can. You don't have to. But it's only like a 30-minute class. Security comes in. They talk to you, whatever. Uh, and then your next class is the pro maintenance class. So that goes over like fuses and your air filters, the engines, the, you know, talks about tires and oil. And the guy, I think his name was Trent. A um, lot of good information. A really cool dude. Um, tells you like you can basically make money by fixing things like on your truck and trailer. Because if you're going to do the work, they, don't, they want to pay you for it. Road Assist will actually pay you for it. Um, it's like between 25 and like $75 or, you know, and if it takes longer then they'll pay you for that time. I mean, so it's actually, it's actually pretty good. Um, so that takes about two hours. That's from one to three. Um, now again, it can go over, you know, people talk, um, it, it just depends, right? So that's kind of your day one, day two, Monday, Tuesday. Um, so you're basically in classes all day, you know, so you're going to be pretty exhausted. Um, after that, uh, you'll send an email, uh, they, and on the paper it tells you. So I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it in the video, obviously. Um, but when you complete all of your tasks, so you have to complete all the classes, all the CBTs, everything. If you try to do it early or anything like that, they're gonna come, they're gonna email you right back and say, "Hey, did you finish this class?" Because they're gonna know that you didn't do it. Okay, um, they know when the, when the classes are and when they end, so they're gonna know right off the bat you didn't do it. Uh, so you cannot do it uh, until you've done that. Um, and then you, you send that email, you identify if you're lease or company, you put your driver code down, all that stuff. Uh, you'll receive a, a confirmation, uh, letting them know that your profile has been up, upgraded. It's been, it's been marked for upgrade. And then you get another email from operations and they have the link for success leasing to check in. Um, once you, it, it asks like your name, your address and like what, comp, what, what division you're in, that kind of thing. Um, and then basically you just wait, you just wait, you just wait your turn. Um, there's like an email or something you can go on that'll, that'll, you can email them, you can ask them what place you're in, but, um, your fleet, if your fleet manager, you've got a good fleet manager, he'll, he'll be on their ass trying to find out, uh, you know, um, where you are in, in, in line. Um, they don't, so the trucks, the truck list, um, on success leasing's website, that's only for Springfield. So if you're in Salt Lake and Pittston, you're going to just going to have to call them to get whatever list or whatever, cause that website is only for Springfield. Um, so anyways, once it's your turn, so they, they don't, they upgrade the list every day at 11 o'clock, uh, the truck list every day at 11 o'clock. Um, and then they also update, um, 
the they start calling people they start at 11 um so i didn't get called till about i think it's like it was like 2 30 probably um and i did get a truck um that will be in probably tomorrow's video i was actually going to do it today but i had a, I, I didn't even get out of there till like six something and after i did the inspection did all this stuff I, it took me uh, quite a while um and so i started to go to the company store i still didn't get everything done i had to go take the truck to uh the shop because it was a handle on the back uh whoever had it before me jumped the uh the uh, plate uh kingpin or whatever and um smashed the little handle so they're going to replace the handle and, and fix one other thing so not a lot of damage just something simple they can fix um they get it in tonight be ready to go tomorrow morning um and uh if now if you're flatbed you have to attend securement training um, and that, that'll be on your, your schedule. So I don't want to go over that cause I didn't do that. So I don't want to tell you guys like how it goes on here. It says Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursday ends Friday. Like I said, you'll have to just get with whoever your, the, the instructor is. They'll tell you where to go. Um, and if you're tanker, you have, you have another training as well, um, in the Z building. Again, that'll be on your schedule. Um, so, um, you know, when you get here, you, when you get to, uh, Springfield, um, and I'm sure it's the same in Pittston and Salt Lake, but, uh, you, you know, you come to uh, campus in room is free. You don't got to pay anything. You just show up, tell them you're doing an upgrade. They'll ask you your name, your driver code. Uh, I think they ask you what truck you're coming off of. And I think they ask you what your fleet manager's name is. Um, anyways, once you give them that information done, hand you a key, tell you what room you're in. See you later. Um, and that's basically it. That's the upgrade process for, uh, prime Inc. At least in Springfield. Like again, um, how it works with Salt Lake and Pittston, not sure. I know there was a guy that was doing his classes. Um, he originally started in Salt Lake. That's where he went. So I'm assuming he lives somewhere over there. Um, and in the middle of his pro, the pro maintenance class, the last class he was doing, right in the middle of it, he told the guy, hey, I got to go. My trainer's here. Um, he's picking me up and we're going to Salt Lake. So they made him go back to Salt Lake to get a truck. Uh, he wasn't going to get a truck from uh, Springfield. So um, if, you're, if that happens to you, you know, I, I highly suggest uh trying to get back to a ter the, the terminal that you started in uh don't end up over here and you know you're going to end up doing your classes and at some point they're going to tell you sorry you got to go back over here uh and and get your truck so that kind of sucks to go through all those classes then have to figure out a way to get back um i think his trainer took him back so um how that works for you guys don't don't know i'm i'm assuming um, if your trainer's gone or can't get back you probably could hitch a ride with somebody going that way so that kind of sucks but you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I actually did another video, um, <laughs> like two days ago and, uh, I completely forgot to upload it. Um, my wife is texting me. Uh, she doesn't know I'm doing this, <laughs> this video. So she was like, ah, you're sounding like you're busy. Um, but yeah, I did want to go over the, uh, upgrade process. Uh, hopefully that helps, uh, any drivers that are out there now in TNT and they're ready to just be done with everything that goes on. Now I got lucky um i did that truck recovery so i got back pretty quick once i finished my miles it's probably not going to be like way for everybody especially now that there was so many people upgrading this week um the whole list of trucks is pretty much wiped out um i think there's still a few left i haven't looked since i got my truck so um you know it, it is what it is um it sucks but you know what do you do uh, I will do a truck tour probably tomorrow. I want to get it all fixed. Um, and once I get to my truck, uh, get it, you know, ready to go. I got, I got all this crap. I got to put it inside of it, all my stuff. And, um, so once I get all that, um, you know, squared away and all that, then I'll, I'll do a truck tour for you guys. Um, not going to tell you what it is. Um, you're probably going to be surprised, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um hopefully that answers any questions you guys might have if you do have questions man always leave a comment uh like share and subscribe uh i while i was here i did meet a bunch of you guys that you know recognize me from the video so i appreciate you saying hi um you know it, it it's always fun to meet you guys and um you know just kind of hang out so um you know the more the merrier um i sat i sat with lyle i sat next to lyle from no hippie uh trucking and transport he's got a youtube video or youtube channel uh, he was sitting next to me in the logs classes, you know, that super exciting class, but, um, you know, it wasn't too bad, but, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, we'll see you guys, um, sh soon. I'm still here at the terminal. I'm at campus in, um, I've been walking around here and there. Sometimes you get bored, want to stretch your legs. So if you see me say hi, um, uh, if not, then that's cool. You can always comment, <laughs> but, uh, all right, we will catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be making that truck tour video. I'm pretty positive i will probably sometime in the morning 
Uh, I want to get there as early as possible. That way I can get over there, get my truck, bring it back to campus and load my stuff. Uh, and then I'll do the truck tour and all that stuff. And then I've got to call driver lineup. I've got to get some Tom data checks. I just got, I got a lot, still lots of stuff to do tomorrow. So, uh, but at least I'll have my truck. So that way, once I, cause you only have so many days in the room. Um, so once I'm done with that, I can stay in the truck and uh, I don't have to worry about, um, you know, here, it is nice having a shower and a bathroom and all that stuff. But, uh, again, I can always go to the terminal, you know, and, and do that. I'll, I'll hopefully tomorrow I can, while I'm doing the Cardinal sleep thing and all that, I gotta, I'm going to do some laundry, get that knocked out while I'm here. It's cheap. So, uh, I won't go home probably for another couple weeks. Um, that way I can, you know, put some money in my pocket and all that stuff. So, uh, anyways, we will catch you guys in the next one. I appreciate all the love and support. See you on the next one.